kind of spirit knows where we're going. You know, we, we get to reading so much and and you know trying to trying to follow the Lord, but the mind of the spirit is what we want. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Father, we just thank you today for your mercy and your goodness, Lord. We just thank you for this people, Lord, that's pursuing you, Lord. Hallelujah. That's running after you, Lord. Lord, that you're slowing down so you can catch them, Lord. Hallelujah. So they can find you, Lord, and they are full and slow. Father, we just thank you, Lord, that you're not going to outrun us today, Lord. And we're going to catch you today, Lord. Amen. We're going to embrace you even, Lord, as Jacob embraced you, Lord, and he sought you with his whole heart and wouldn't turn you loose, Lord, till the day breaketh. Father, that's where we are today, Lord. We want you, Lord, in our hearts and in our lives to the fullest, Lord. And we just praise you today, Lord, that you'll just help us to say what you want us to say, be what you want us to be, do what you want us to do. And Lord, to just see you, hallelujah, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I'm reminded of what Jacob said in in Genesis 49 and 1. Hallelujah. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I might tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. And, of course, Jacob goes on to prophesy to all of his sons and give them a word and tell them what they're destined for or their destiny in Christ, revealing themselves. Then he comes on down to the 10th verse, and he said, The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh comes, And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Hallelujah. So we're gathered up today in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Gathered up in him today who has the scepter of righteousness. Glory to God. And he's given us the scepter of righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's pointing it out. Giving us the authority to walk in him in all of the truth that He is, in all the love that He is, and all of the benefits that are found in Christ Jesus, He's holding out His scepter of righteousness today because we have come to a brand new day in Christ Jesus. And what has befell, as, uh, as Jacob said there in, the, in this scripture, he said, what shall befall them in the last days. So he's doing away with the first that he might establish the second. And we're found today in the second who is the Lord from heaven which is a quickening spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God that hath quickened us from the dead and caused us to live. Hallelujah in His resurrection life. Glory to God, because we are the body of His resurrection. Glory to God, we are the people that are called and gathered up. Hallelujah! Into His presence, into the air. And we are ever with the Lord because we have been resurrected in Christ Jesus. Called from the dead, and heard His voice, and come forth unto life. And that's who we are, a corrupt people. Hallelujah. A resurrected people, a people that's lifted up out of the earth. Glory to God. We're not conformed to this world, but we're transformed because we have seen Christ Jesus 
who is our life. Hallelujah. And I live by Him. And you live by Him. And you live by every word that has been spoken, that has been brought to pass. Hallelujah. So He's brought everything to to the cross. Hallelujah. And as Brother Wayne said, He nailed it to the cross. Now everybody gets up on preach my message. Hallelujah. <laughs> Brother Bob, he got up and wanted to preach it. You know, I saw that. I saw that. I saw the Spirit moving on him, and he just wanted to run ahead of me this morning. Glory to God. Sorry, Brother Bob, I understand. <laughs> and Brother Wayne, he does the same thing. <laughs> oh man, the Spirit. The, uh, just want, everybody gets a hold of the Spirit and they want to run with it, see. Don't, don't ever tell a preacher what God's dealing with you. He'll get up and preach it every time. <laughs> I've seen that down the road. I've seen it down the road. I mean, not one time, but numbers and numbers of times. I won't say hundreds, I don't know. But anyway, numbers of times. Because the Spirit is working, see. And when they get a hold of that leadership of that spirit, they just give them a key, and they'll stick it in the stick it in the lock and unlock that door, and they'll get ahead of you every time because you open the door for them. Really, what you've really done. <laughs> but Bob, you know what I'm talking about too. Oh, if, yeah, anybody that's uh, oh yeah, yeah. See, what God says to one, He'll say to all. Because the Spirit, see, that truth, that Spirit of truth is going out. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 I, I got these things. I, I'm just kind of wondering how to put them together. Uh, I want to deal a little bit. Uh, I want to deal a little bit with uh, um, how that Joseph had a dream. He was a dreamer. Joseph dreamed. He had a dream, and that dream got him into all kind of trouble. All y'all know the dream. The dream was that. Actually, that Jacob was the son, and that Jacob's wife was the moon, and Jacob's sons were the stars. Jacob had a dream. He didn't tell them that, but they understood that they were a part of that dream and that they were all going to bow down to Joseph. Amen. See, God's laying, He was laying a foundation in Genesis what's going to take place in the coming of the Son of Man. Amen. So Joel, Joel picks it up. The sun will be, uh, be darkened. Amen. The moon shall... Turn to blood and the stars will fall from heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. We're talking about the literal sun being darkened, although it was darkened uh, when Jesus was hung on the cross. Amen. There was a disturbance there, but they was, he wasn't really talking about that. He was talking about what God was going to do with that first Amen. dispensation, that First heaven, hallelujah, that God had created from the time that He called Abraham and brought him out and brought forth Israel through Jacob and founded there and had a people after following the Lord. So this was the first heaven that God had created. The first heaven that was in existence was that creation that God had created, how that He took Moses and He led them out of the out of Egypt into the wilderness and brought them, finally brought them into the promised land. And all of that that took place was 
God moving and revealing Himself and typing shadow in the first heavens. Glory to God. Amen. So all of that He was doing away, that was in the natural. Amen. First the natural, now the spiritual. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad you're in the Spirit? Hallelujah. Man, I feel good up here. I don't know what you feel back there. But I got the cloud right over me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because the heavens is open. Hallelujah. And hallelujah. Do you know how the heavens are open? Hallelujah. God opened the heavens to His Son. Hallelujah. And He revealed His Son and everything that was right. The old Moses tried to find everything there in the mountain, but he couldn't find it. God hit him in the rock, and all he saw was the backside. But when Jesus was revealed out of the cloud, glory to God, heard the voice in Jordan, the heavens were open, glory to God. And everybody could hear from heaven now. Hallelujah. Man, that spirit, that ain't, that, that ain't just a natural. That wasn't a natural. It was natural that was taking place, but it was a spiritual operation of God, and God was opening the door. Amen. The kingdom of God was at hand. Amen. Glory to God. A new order was on the scene. Something new was about to happen. Hallelujah. God was going to show His Son to the world. Hallelujah. He was going to show Himself to the world through His Son because it was God in Christ Jesus now reconciling the world back into Himself. Hallelujah. Up till then, it never been reconciled. Hallelujah. Up to then, it never had been declared. But now God has declared Him in full power, in full authority. And in Jordan, He gives Him the scepter of righteousness. He fills him with his fullness. Hallelujah. When the Spirit descended upon him and remained upon him, old John said, this is him. Hallelujah. This is the one I've been looking for. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Man, heaven, heaven opened up itself and began to see and began to declare the Son, Jesus Christ. The Father began to declare it all in Christ Jesus. From that time forth, heaven was in operation. Glory to God. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. <laughs> Hallelujah. There hadn't been a king of righteousness till then. True righteousness. But now we've got a king that's ushering in righteousness that has the scepter of authority. Hallelujah. I want us to go to Hebrews. <coughs> Hallelujah. Whew. I'm out of that air. I ain't used to preaching this like this, this hard. Whoa, thank you, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. You want to run away when the Spirit gets on you like this. Hallelujah. In Hebrews 1. Thank you. I just said that he got deceptive. He had the full. He, he received the full measure. Jesus received the full measure of the Spirit. Now I know he was born to the Holy Ghost, but he was commissioned in Jordan when the Spirit descended upon him, and he was commissioned by the Spirit of God that overshadowed him there. And this is where he received the fullness of the Godhead bodily. This is what I see. You can check it out for yourself. Pray about it. You know, you don't get nothing from God until you pray over what you see. 
Hallelujah. You look at it one time, then you look at it again. Hallelujah. So, as the Spirit descended upon him, he received the full measure. He had the Spirit of God without measure. Glory to God. I had it, but I don't have it. I don't have the fullness. I have a measure. As he's given us that measure, that gift, that working, that calling, specifically whatever God's called you for is the measure that God measured you for. If you can understand that. Hallelujah. Whatever office God has set you in, that's the measure that God has measured to you the ability by the Spirit and the power of the Almighty God that's come to live in you. Glory to God to execute the office that God has given you to do. Hallelujah. And as you give yourself to God in the office that God has given you, as you pursue the Lord, He can give you an increase. Hallelujah. Of that measure. But He's measured you. He's given you whatever He's called you for. He's equipped you for to do. If you're called to preach, you can, He'll equip you to preach. If you're called to be a Sunday school teacher or just whatever, they, whatever it is, He's given you a measure to take care of that. Hallelujah. But we, you know, I've always cut myself short a little bit. Because I, I know I can't do nothing in myself. But Paul said, I'm not anything, but I can do all things. <laughs> Hallelujah. Boy, that's something, ain't it? I'm not anything, but I can do all things. Boy, that's something, isn't it? Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm speaking to somebody. I'm not nothing, but I can do all things. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Quit cutting yourself short because God has supplied you with whatever you have need of. Hallelujah. You are equipped. You are, you're full. You have full supply of God's resources in you, the Spirit of the living God that, that, that will enable you to do whatever God has put forth for you to do. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So that's what he was saying. How did we know how Paul stripped himself and he became nothing that he could become all things that God had called him to do? Oh, hallelujah. So our efficiency is not in ourselves, but it's in Christ who's in us. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So... Paul, uh, Paul, I'm going to come down. Let me come down here one. I, I looked at this verse one. God, who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in times past, Brother, Brother Bob was talking about here, past times. Past times. Unto our fathers by the prophets. All this is past times have in these last days spoken unto us by His Son, in whom He hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also He made the worlds. Hallelujah. Being in the brightness of His glory and the express image of His person and upholding all things by the word of His power, when he by himself, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. Oh, hallelujah. Boy, what a, what a word, Lord. God, you put everything in the Son. 
Hallelujah. And put the Son in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't that something? He put everything in the Son and then turned around and put the Son in us. Glory to God. That Son's in you, my sister. Hallelujah. My brother, that Son is in you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Dealing, dealing, dealing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I thought about it. I thought about this church when I come up here, first of all. I began to pray. God began to show me something the other day. How sweet milk is made buttermilk. Hallelujah. But if you don't ever get the milk in the churn, you can't churn. Hallelujah. <laughs> and you know what comes out after you get it churned real good? Everybody say, butter! butter. Hallelujah! That's what the Lord's after. He's after butter! <laughs> Glory to God! Hallelujah! But you've got to have some turning to go to God and get the, get, get the turn working. <laughs> you know what's on the end of that old stick? It's called a beater. <laughs> oh, it beats that milk up and down. But after a while, you start seeing a little spark. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> you're a home and you know what I'm talking about. Glory to God. God's after the butter, I want to tell you. Amen. You don't get that butter without the churning, without the beating. Glory to God. Without going through something. So He takes you through it in order to get the best out. He refines His gold. Hallelujah. I had a sister years ago, and she said, she talked about this brother, and she said he's just one of them brothers that hadn't been dug out of the earth yet. He's a jewel, but he hasn't been dug out yet. But God will dig him out. Amen. God will get him purified. God will work it out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And that's what God's doing today. Glory to God. So he said here, Hallelujah. In sundry times and divers manners, God spake in times past unto our fathers by the prophets. But he's speaking by the Son now. Everything's in the Son. And the Son's in us. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. And he goes on to say, being made much better firstborn than the angels, he had inherited he as he has inherited and obtained a more excellent name than they. For under which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son. In other words, he ain't just making everybody his son in heaven, they're in angels. This day, he said, This day have I begotten thee again. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten unto the world, he saith, And let all the angels of God worship him. Amen. And of the angels, he said, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers of flame and fire, but unto the Son saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever, and ever a scepter, His throne is forever a scepter of Thy kingdom. In other words, where he's, he's ruling and reigning in the kingdom. Hallelujah. He has all authority in the kingdom because He's the King, and His kingdom has come. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even thy God, have anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Full measure. And thou, Lord, in the beginning hast laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of thine hands. They shall perish, but thou remainest. And they all shall wax old as doeth a garment. Hallelujah. And as a vesture thou shalt fold them up, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. There's another scripture that goes, Thou art the same today, yesterday, and forever. Amen. Running reference on that same scripture. God being the same through all things, working all things after the purpose and the counsel of His own will. He said, "But to, the, but to the angels, but to the angels said He at any time, set thou at my right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool. Are they not all ministered spirits sent from, sent forth to minister from them?" who shall be heirs of salvation. But the point is here how that he's, he's going to roll up the first Amen. and bring forth the second. Now I want us to go over to Revelations. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Revelation 21. And I saw a new heaven, verse 1, Amen. and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Amen. So the, he saw a new heaven and a new earth, but the first heaven had passed away. God was removing everything in the natural that he might now bring it forth by the Spirit. Amen. How many know that Jesus is a quickening Spirit? Amen. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. You can't know him until you've been quickened. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> because you're not alive until he quickens you. Amen. Yeah, you're dead in trespasses and sin until he quickens you. Glory to God. But when He quickens you, He makes you alive. Hallelujah. Because you have heard His voice. Now, I know that at the cross, He's done it all. But you've got to hear His voice. John 5 says, uh, Now is. John, uh, the prophet John was talking there. He said, Now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God and live. Hallelujah. He wasn't just dealing there. He was dealing with those that were in trespasses and sin that were dead. Now, because he, he, had, he had put them to death once and for all. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. He had meant that judgment for every man. And the judgment is that you're no longer here as the old, but you're here as the new. Now, if you can hear his voice. Amen. Now, he's dealing there in John 5. I'm not going to get into all of that, but he's dealing there in John 5. I'm just trying to bring, bring this out a little. He said, the dead hear his voice. He's talking about all of those that were in the first covenant. Amen. They hear his voice, and they come forth with him in his resurrection. Amen. He's raising them up. That's the judgment of the first. Hallelujah. And they're raised up in the judgment that he has brought about by his death, his burial, and his resurrection. Amen. And in that resurrection judgment, he brings all of the righteous that have died in the first covenant, all the old. He brings them forth with him in his resurrection. Amen. Hallelujah. They're ministering spirits. They're just men made perfect. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They did not made perfect until they, they unite with us who is in the perfect generation. Yes, 
You're in a perfect generation because you're in Christ Jesus who is the beloved of the Father, the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth, who is perfection. Hallelujah. In its fullness. Hallelujah. A full manifestation of perfection. Hallelujah. Everything. But, now I know maybe that's a little hard to get going. Amen. Hallelujah. But he, he, he brings them forth from the old and he talks to those that are... Now, he's done, he's just, he's done, uh, done died and buried and rose again and, and he's dealing with those that will hear his voice. Amen. Now is when the dead shall hear his voice. And live. Hallelujah. You know, Martha talked about the resurrection and Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth on me, though he was dead, yet shall he live. Martha didn't get that revelation because Jesus was going to taste death for every man. And only those that could hear his voice could live because he was going to quicken them. He's going to quicken them, hallelujah, by his spirit and give them life. But here he's dealing with the past just being taken taken out. And he said, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Amen. Now this is what the new heaven looks like, those that have been quickened. Amen. Hallelujah. And the new earth. Because heaven and earth is united. We're not separated. <laughs> it looks like a separation, but we're not separated. We're dependent upon the rain that comes down from heaven every day. We're dependent upon all the things that are in the heavens, in the natural. And we're certainly dependent upon the Spirit. But he said here, for the first heaven and the first earth, earth was passed away and there was no more sea. The sea is the uh, 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 people out here outside of God. He's bringing everything in. He said, And I, John, saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven, prepared as a bride adored for her, help, for her husband. It looks like they're all coming together in the bride, don't it? In Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, <laughs> Looks like heaven's already come down to earth, don't it? Hallelujah. Behold, the tabernacle of God is with man. And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, because He swallowed up death in Himself. Amen. Neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. That's that worldly sorrow and pain that most people out here in the world live in continually. For the former things are passed away. Yes. Now, you know, we, we think that when that Scripture said uh, we, we deal, with the, uh, deal with the passing away, I forget the Scripture now, it ain't coming to my mind. We, we usually deal with sin. Did you come to your mind? Deal with all old things have passed away. Yeah. <laughs> well, all old things we think about is the way we used to live. Well, they have passed away. But um, um, we think about um, the things that we all, all we did, they passed away. Yeah, they did pass away. All those old things did pass away. But he's talking about, he's talking about everything that was in the natural, in the first creation was going to be removed, that now there is a new heaven and the new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. To the absolute, as Brother Stanley has been saying. Absolute. Positively. 
<laughs> He's been preaching that message to me all week long. <laughs> you may not know, but you keep hearing that and it'll work. That's right. I mean, you keep hearing that. You say, well, what is he saying? Well, you start trying to figure it out. Absolute. <laughs> Positively. Hallelujah. A new heaven and a new earth wherein dwell of righteousness. <laughs> That's Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, and, and he that sat upon the throne... After everything has passed away, and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. I want you to get a hold of that. Write. Write it on the tables of your heart. Write it down. Do like they did in the old when God was saying, Hear, O Israel, that the Lord our God is one God. Hallelujah. Put it on the doorpost. Put it up. When you go in the fence, they, you see it. When you go in the door, you see it. When you go to bed at night, you see it. Hallelujah. He wanted Israel to know there was no other gods but Him. He's the only God there is. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And He gives Moses the Ten Commandments and He said, uh, He tells us to worship the Lord with all of our heart. Hallelujah. Boy, not, not a little bit. All. all. Give it everything you got. Folks, I'm telling you, this is what God is calling you to do is to give it all you got. Amen. Hallelujah. Did you hear me? <laughs> Hallelujah. Not a little bit. I mean, give it all you got. Amen. I'm going to tell you, you talk about a church growing if you can give it all you got. We'll see this church burst out and you'll have to put new walls in it uh, you'll have to make more room. Hallelujah. Because it won't hold what God is going to bring to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. When you look at that song service today and you see what God is saying through the song service if the preacher don't say what the songs are saying, something's wrong. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because the song says the same thing that the preacher says. Or the preacher says the same thing that the song says. Because it all comes together. Glory to God. And where you have that word illuminated uh, that you're looking at it there in song and singing it, and God is bringing an operation of that song in your spirit and in your life, you know that God is speaking to you. Hallelujah. How shall they preach except they be sent? God don't send you, you can't preach. But God has sent us so we can preach. Boy, isn't it beautiful when everything comes together the way this comes together today. Amen. I thought, oh Lord, if just just a few people could hear and see what's going on here. How wonderful it would be. You go in places, different places, in different churches, and in different places, and you, the song service will be one thing, and the preaching will be something else. Hallelujah! But not here. And he said, and he said, it is done. And he said unto me. And he said unto me, it is done. He didn't just say it was done. He said unto me, 
It is done. I've been in transition most of my life. I have. I've been in transition. You know what transition means? Moving from one place to another. Most of my life. Glory to God. Not long ago, I quit moving. I saw my house in a vision, and I was going down the road. I really saw my house in a vision. I was going down the road, and I looked over, and my house was being moved on one of them movers, you know, them movers where they move the houses on the wheels, you know, get up underneath it and move it. Here's my house being moved down the road. Brother Bob, I was so shocked, and I looked over at that, and I said, that's my house! What's my house doing out here? Hallelujah. You may not know it, you may be one of them that needs to see your house move. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> I saw my house being moved down the road. <laughs> That's a shock, brother. I'm losing my house. I hadn't been long put a new roof on it, and I thought it was in good shape because I'd put a new roof on it. I'd done some repairs to it, and it was in better shape than I'd ever had it in. But it still wasn't perfect because there was something lacking on the side of it there that I hadn't fixed. And, but it was being moved. I guess they, the Lord's taking it to the shop. <laughs> I don't really know because he didn't tell me where he was moving me that time. But later on, I found out, I found out the final move, glory to God. And I've been looking at this final move for years now because I, I really want to get a hold of this final move. Glory to God. Amen. You, ever, you ever run into some people that like to move about every three or four Maybe not three or four months, but every year they have to move from one place to another. You ever wonder why? Because they're so dissatisfied where they're at. <laughs> but God wants to bring us to a place where we can be satisfied. <laughs> Hallelujah. Revelation 21. The old heavens passed away. Behold... A new heaven and a new earth. This is the final move, brother. <laughs> this is the final move. See, I, I've listened to a lot of preachers on TV from time to time. Um, I've, got, I've, I've got time to run around and listen to them a little bit. Anyway, they, uh, they're putting this all after after the graveyard experience, the final move. But I declare unto you that's not the final move. Amen. Hallelujah. The final move is this new heaven coming to know Christ Jesus in His fullness. Amen. Coming to be made alive in, in awareness that he has given us all things that pertain unto righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That all old things have passed away, and behold, all things are now new. Glory Amen. to God. So he's wrapped up the old covenant and brought us into the new covenant, a new way of living. Hallelujah. Where we live in this new covenant and everything works by love. There's no hate in here. There's no envy in here. Amen. There's no strife in this, this final move. Hallelujah. There's no pride in this place. 
Hallelujah. This is a lovely place. It's a beautiful place. It's a place where we live and move and have our being in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a place where we're submitted to Him in all things. Glory to God. And we're seeing Him that He's the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, that has completed all things in the first covenant and has brought us into a brand new way in Him. And everything that's said today has to come out of the Son. Because when the Father put everything in the Son, nothing could be seen outside of what God has put in Him. This is the ultimate word for grace. Hallelujah. God looked at Jesus and said, This is my Son. He has fulfilled all things. He has done everything that I've said to do. He is the the ultimate fulfillment and the alpha and the omega of the first covenant. And I'm putting everything in the Son's name. And everything is going to Him and His inheritance. Everything that 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 He has is going to the Son. His and everything. And when I look at this, when I look at creation, I see nothing but what's in the sun. God can't, the Father can't see you except seeing what Jesus has done. Amen. Well, that's that's amazing. Hallelujah. It's just get all of it. That's why that you're what you are. Not by works, lest any man should but, but by the grace of God that is here in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Did you give me a signal yet? Uh, huh? 47 minutes. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. All old things have passed away. Behold, all things are new. I didn't get to a lot of things that I would have liked to got to because I added so much other stuff into it. But I'm a shotgun preacher, see? Yeah, that's what I am. I'm a shotgun preacher. Yeah. When you go bird hunting, you don't go out there with a rifle. <laughs> Y'all forgive me if you got shot today, won't you? Because I, I tell you, because a shotgun preacher, he wants to shoot everybody. <laughs> he wants to give everybody the word of the law. Hallelujah. I love you. I want to hurt you for that. I know I got, I got a lot of foolishness today. Yeah. Would you forgive me for my foolishness? Hallelujah. But remember this one thing, that God doesn't see anything that He don't see through His son. I haven't always seen that. And that we are a brand new creation. The old heavens have passed away. And He nailed it all to the cross. And um, i got to read this scripture. Hallelujah. We've got to go back to Hebrews. Lord, give me a little bit more time. Hebrews. I won't be long. Hallelujah. Find Hebrews here. Hallelujah. Hebrews 9. Hebrews 9. Let alone ten, right there, right. Uh, ten's right there, side of it. <clears throat> he said, ten, ten, eight says, above then he said, sacrifice and offerings and burnt offerings and offerings for sin thou wouldest not, neither hast pleasure therein, which were offered by the law. 
Then said he, Lo, I come in the volume. Lo, I come to do thy will, O God, to take away the first that he might establish the second by the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. Hallelujah. In 9, 26, 9, chapter, Hebrews 9, 26, he said, For he must have offered, he must, for then must he offer, for then he must offer having suffered since, he, often not offered, for then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world, but now once in the end of the world have he appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. The end of the world. Not an end and end and end and end. Oh, this coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. No, it's not coming. It's already ended. It ended over 2,000 years ago when Jesus went to the cross and done it all and finished it all. It's a finished work, folks. It's a finished work. He done it all. He made one sacrifice at the end of the world. Hallelujah. That you and I said, and as it is appointed unto man wants to die, but after this, the judgment. He was the judgment that done away with sin and He judged every man righteous in Himself if He could hear His voice. Hallelujah. Because we come to Him through faith. Amen. He said, So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for Him shall He appear the second unto full salvation. So I, I spent a... I've spent a lifetime looking for the Lord that I might find full salvation. Amen. We talked about Jonah the other day. Jonah made a three-day journey in one day. Some people can make it in one day, but it took me three days. Hallelujah. But I have found a place in Christ that I am secure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am secure. I am satisfied that I have seen the Lord and that, hallelujah, and that that He's showing me is all about this new day, this new day, this new day, this new day. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you need prayer, I'm going to pray for you today. Hallelujah. I'm going to impart everything I got. God said, freely have you received, freely, freely give. Give it. I'm going to give you what God's given me. Hallelujah. That's what I've been doing up here, trying to give you what God's given me. But Paul believed in laying on the hand that he might impart a gift unto the people. So I say it unto you, if you want prayer, I'm going to pray for you. But I'm closing the service out. Hallelujah. Would you stand with me? Hallelujah. 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 I believe we can impart, don't you? Hallelujah. We don't need no oil because we've got oil in our fingers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. We read that scripture yet as Paul said, or, or David said, I, I have run through a truth and I have jumped over a wall. Hallelujah. The Lord's going to cause you to run through the truth and jump over the wall. Hallelujah. He's going to do a new thing in you that you've never known. Hallelujah. You say, Lord, I know a whole lot, but he's going to do more. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, so be it. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, so be it. Father, fill her with everything that you need filling. In Jesus' name, fill her with everything. Hallelujah. Let your spirit run out of her pores and her body, Father. Hallelujah. God, let the oil run out of her hands.
dealt with that at a certain time, Lord, at a certain place. 1215. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
a way that you're going to be able to impart the things God has given you. You're going to reach out and give them a lot of hand. Hallelujah. So I reach out and give them by hand. Say, I give you this today in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. A boldness like you've never known. Glory to God. They're going to say, man, what's happened here? <laughs>
done, brother.